Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we're going to try the Osmo 3 properly for the first time. Although I've used it before, I've not um, been extremely comfortable with it and to be honest I'm probably still not. So um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and use the Osmo 3, just call it the Osmo. Um, I'm going to try and use the Osmo uh, for the day. Um, so the first thing I want to do, it's it's 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to go out and do a recce to find out um, some good points on Hayling Island that I can photograph this evening for sunset. Um, the main thing I want are jetties or slipways. Um, and I've and I've asked on the Facebook page for Hayling Island uh, for recommendations which I have been given um, so I'm now going to go to those, have a look round, um, probably take a couple of photographs and then return this evening just before sunset um, at the best one and take some photographs. Okay, um, I have um, loads of new attachments for the, um, the Osmo, um, including things such as um, the... I can't remember what it's called but I suppose it's a just a, a support arm I've got some lights for it and um, courtesy of uh, Paul Compton and um, he didn't give me them he recommended them and um, I've got those I've got some cages to use to support it and um, and yeah I'm gonna see how it works today anyway and um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head off to Hayling Island see what we can find yeah I'll see you there yeah I've, I've driven to a couple of places as you may have seen on that video should I choose to use it um, and unfortunately the parking spaces are all full and um, I have found a spot um, and I'm gonna go to where I photographed before initially and um, I want to just have a look to see if sunset's going to be anywhere near it tonight um, and if it is it is really my prime location however um, I don't think it does. I, I think it's more behind me, um, or sort of to my left shoulder. Uh, but but you know I'll I'll have a look. Um, and because I've done it before, if I'm honest, I would rather go somewhere else. So yeah, um, I don't know. It's all fun. So like I said, guys, this is all about looking for somewhere to go tonight. It's not about photographing now, although should an opportunity arise i will do it now okay um one thing i'll say about the osmo is i'm going to keep charging it um i don't know how long the battery lasts um i have a battery bank um, with a cable for this evening um i don't really want to use it now i want to see the lifespan of the osmo um and what i'll do is i was gonna say I'll do a review on it. I'd, I'm no good at reviews, and and you know they're not paying me for to do it, so why should I? But you know I'll let you know what I think of it uh, rather than a review. And and uh, one thing I will say about it now is, and if I can do some B-roll of it with using my other camera later, I'll add that. Um, it's only got one input, and that is at the bottom. So when I'm using a, um, a, a an extension like this, I am unable to get to that. So for instance, I've purchased. Let me just get it out. I've purchased a microphone. So on the microphone, it has a normal jack. Well, there is nowhere to put that. So what you have to do is buy an adapter. So the adapter is this. So the um, microphone goes into the hole at the back of the jack, um, and then you plug it in at the bottom using that. So it's another half inch um, on the bottom of the Osmo. And I don't know if it works yet, I haven't used it. It looks, it looks like it's the right thing, but nothing says this is um, a, an accessory for Osmo. I, I don't even know if it improves the sound that's used just using the microphone that's on the Osmo itself. So yeah, um, I suppose I'm gonna find that out today. Okay, right, so let's go and have a look around. Thank you, I'll see you when we get to the first spot. Thank you. I thought before I left I would use the microphone so I've plugged it in at the bottom and I've put the microphone what I will say is it doesn't look like it's something you can trust it it 
it's really flimsy and it looks like it could drop out at any time and and it would drop out and you wouldn't notice um and i've done it now so i can when i get home later i can see if there's an improvement on the sound with the microphone and indeed if it works um so if it doesn't work i'll let you know right let's go We're at the Hailing Island Billy Line coastal path, which takes us down to Langston Harbour um, and the old railway crossing, which is now just concrete stubs. Um, you know, the, the bits that were laid so that the bridge could sit on. Um, they make a really good picture in the evening. Um, and I'm going to go there now and see, yeah, if, if we can use those this evening. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you when we get there. So I've walked down to where I wanted to be and you can just see the line here of the rocks that used to be the foundations for the bridge. Um, unfortunately, the sun is going to set too far to the left um, to allow you know, a decent sunset photograph. And I have to say, it probably would have been the perfect spot otherwise. Um, but I, I am gonna take a photograph here. Um, I want to, because normally when I come down here, you cannot get on this part of the land. It's normally submerged in the seawater. So what I want to do is see if I can do a long exposure shot of that. I don't know if you can see it from there, of that down there from, from around about here. Um, just to see, you know, what we can do with that. Yeah. Okay. So let me get set up and I'll, and I'll say hello again. Okay. Okay. So I'm learning many things today. Um, because I've not done it really like this before, I've forgotten several things. So, um, on the camera or on the tripod, I have this really nice, rather expensive bar. Okay, let me just turn it around. I have this a bar here, and this bar is here to hold an adapter so that there we go so that the osmo can be secured onto the tripod yeah that's in the car that's what i was using to do the filming on in the car so must bring that next thing i've forgotten <laughs> i've got my filters and i've got my ring to put the adapter on but i don't have the adapter so um, yeah, there's going to be no long exposure, but I am going to take a photograph because as you can see I've done all the work in setting myself up and I have left stuff behind. There we go. That's why I'm out on a recce to get it right. Okay, so um, I'm going to do it as a stacking photograph um, because there are so many pillars. Let me turn around so you can see there are so many pillars on this run that if I just took it from the nearest one, then it's just going to get more and more out of focus. So I think I need to do three, four, five photographs to make sure that we have focus at least until the center point where you can see the uh, large rusty um, I don't know what it is, like a work post, work position. Um, yeah, um, or the main support for the bridge. I have absolutely no idea what it is. Um, but I'm gonna photograph one, two, three, four, five, up to that position, and then I'm gonna stack them in Photoshop. Um, I'm at F11, ISO 64. Um, I can't remember what the time is, but I'll put that down. I think it was 250th of a second, I'm not sure. I actually want it to be longer than that, so I might change it. Yeah, so I'll take the photographs now, and then I'm gonna stack them in Lightroom, and I'll show you that photograph. Okay, yeah, my apologies for my forgetfulness. That's why I've come out early. Okay, thanks guys. I have, I have taken three photographs. I've done one from where I said, I've gone further to the left, right next to the water, and I've gone above, so we're looking down on those foundations for the bridge. Um, I've taken five photographs, I think, on each one. So I'm gonna stack all five of those photographs, excuse me, all three of those photographs, um, and I'll share those with you now, if they're any good. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but this thing's doing what it wants, so I'll just have to bear with it. The um, 
I just found this stump um, sticking out of the water uh, or out of the ground um, surrounded by this stunning green um, and I've taken a photograph of that which I'll, I will share with you now. I'm going back to the car to the next location and I'll talk to you when I get there. So one of the places I was told to come to was the jetty at Rythe um, which is a village. Behind me there's a, a pub or a club called the Squirrel. Um, I have a feeling however that this is private land and as soon as I'm seen walking around it I'll be asked to leave so I think this is going to be um, a no-go. Um, I'm going to have a look and see if I can find a jetty or a slipway but um, I think if I was to do so um, unless I saw permission um, I don't think um, I'd be allowed to come in here. Um, I think all these lovely, I don't know if you can see them behind me, all these lovely homes for people to buy or rent or whatever. Um, not for me, but you know, yeah, there's no way, there's no way I'm going to get to that from here, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think that this is an option, um, which reduces those that I've been told about to um, one um, down at Langston Harbour, um, but I can't get down there because um, because of the amount of traffic in the car park area. There's nowhere to go, and you know, like I like I always say, I. I try to limit the amount of walking that I do. So, yeah, I think this is a no-go. I'll ask the question and go from there. Touch in a bit. I asked. Um, and I've been told that this is the coastal road or coastal track where you can walk around. The sea is currently out anyway, uh, but I, I don't see a jetty. Um, unless I've walked the wrong way, so I'm gonna try and walk the opposite direction I'm not walking far just gonna do a short distance and um, see if I can see one um, and then track where the Sun is going to set and see if that one's any good for this evening but when I mean, the Sun is over there I don't think so I'll tell you what though as a walk going, this is really nice, if you can do it. There's this here, but I don't think it's a jetty. Anyway, I'll have a walk, see what I can find. So it was right in front of me, right in front of the track from the car. Um, it's a slipway, not a jetty. So um, it's not what we're looking for at all. It looks, it looks awful. So yeah, this is a, this is a no. Right, on to the next. So I don't know if you can see, I have company. I'm being chased by these two swans. And I can't get away quick enough. Yeah, let me let me turn it around. There they are, look. They're following me. You stay from away from these bad boys. I've stuck my microphone in again. Um, so we'll see how it works and see if the sounds any better. Anyway, I've come down to the beach. Um, I've been to all bar one of the jetties or slipways that I was told about and um, none of them are what I had hoped and, and, and none of them so far um, are um, gonna be in a position where I can photograph the jetty and have the sunset in it as well so um, I suppose th this recce is a bit of a flop so I'm gonna look for something else Um I've taken several photographs as, you, as you've seen I've already shared those and they might be the only ones um, I mean nothing's pointless I now know that you know Hayling Island is not is not the place for what I wanted to do tonight that isn't to say I'm not gonna come back tonight and go to and um, the other side of those foundations where the bridge is and just photograph those 
with what should be a glorious sky this evening so that that might be where I'm going so yeah uh, I think what I'll do now is drive back down to the pub on the entrance onto Hayden Island have a look at the jetty down there um, if it's any good you know then then we'll go to, for that but if not um, yeah then we'll then we'll think of something else okay I'm sorry if it's um, a letdown um, it just isn't I mean even that even that jetty that I'm talking about I I just can't see it being any good because the sun's setting in a different place but you know it's not a waste of time like I said so we'll do something else so I've come to the final spot I've forgotten the name of the pub I'll put it down but um, I'm walking around to the mill and I do not see a jetty anywhere um, there's a slipway I think I think that's what this is or a walkway to take us down but that will get covered by the sea um, tonight so I'm gonna walk around to where the mill is and see what's around the other side but it, it, it's not looking like there is one I don't I don't see one okay um, I have not achieved what I set out to achieve today uh, I, I've been around the jetties or the slipways that I've had um, information about around the area on Hayling Island um, there were five I think four or five in total um, and none of them are a by the sunset or B suitable they're, they're tired knackered boring um, so we're not going to get what I wanted to get today so um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to come down like I said before to the other side of where I am now just cross the road go over this side then and we have the foundations um, for the old rail crossing bridge um, and we'll see what we can capture from there I don't know which side is going to be the best I want to be on this side um, it doesn't matter which side I'm on because we're not going to get the Sun in the photograph but we might get a red sky for the last two nights I think we've had a beautiful sunset and um, so I'm gonna try and capture that and hope that that is what we're in for tonight okay so um, I will see you all later on today thanks hi guys so we're back on Halen Island we've literally just crossed I say we I have just crossed the bridge and parked up at the pub the ship or the ship in um, and I want to capture this first of all I don't know how well you can see that but the Spinnaker Tower I'll show you some b-roll but the Spinnaker Tower has ah, I'm sorry um, the Sun just behind it and a red sky and it's gonna look really nice uh, my aim is to go actually over there um, but that might that might now not happen if if this is what I'm going to get here. So I'm going to set myself up. I'm going to put on the 200 mil, the 70 to 200 mil lens, get it on the tripod, um, and see what it looks like from there. Okay, let me set up. I have got the clamp to attach it, the um, the um, Osmo to the tripod, so I'll do that and I'll come back to you. Okay, back in a minute. Well, I'm all set up. Um, ISO 64 f11 and that's a 40th of a second i'm going to take this photograph and then i'm going to stick some nd filters on to see if i can smooth out the water i'm zoomed into about 135 140 mil um yeah and it looks really good um and then i'm going to start taking photographs and i'll share those with you now okay thanks this this is good guys this this bit the clamp that i've got i'll try and show you it uh, the clamp that i've got or well, the arm and the clamp that I've got to hold the Osmo is really good. Um, when I got home, the Osmo was at 70%. So in all, you know, it, it's really good. I charged it up when I got home. It's now at 100%. So I've got enough for this evening. So anyway, back to this. Yeah, um, I'll take the photographs and I'll share them with you now. Okay, thanks. Um, I've set it up. I'm doing a one minute exposure. That's just about to come to an end. Um, we're still at... 140 mil there we go 
Let's have a look. I hear somebody. <laughs> they think I'm nuts. Yeah, that looks really nice. 140 mil, one minute exposure. Um, on ISO 64. Really, really nice photograph. Um, yeah, I love this. I love this. Okay, talk to you in a minute. It's getting darker. I have got a 10 stop on still. It's not pitch black yet. It's getting darker and I'm getting a minute 15 second exposures and um, it's given a nice shiny look to the water. We've got a really nice sunset. Um, yeah, um, several different focal lengths. This one's at 70 mil, so it's really wide uh, in relation to obviously this lens um, and from this distance, but it looks really nice. Okay, um, I'll share this and I'll share the others along. I'll keep sharing the other ones with you. Um, yeah, this one has another 10 seconds to run. And then, um, yeah, we'll see what else we can do. I want this sky to go red, okay. Let's have a look. Oh, that is beautiful. That is really, really nice. Yeah, really, really nice. Okay. Yeah, I'll share it with you. Okay, just so you know, this wasn't my plan. Nothing's gone to plan today. My plan was to go over there. Oops. Sets it off by mistake. Um, my plan was to go over there um, and shoot the foundations for the bridge but I can't not photograph um, the spinnaker when it's got this glorious sunset behind it um, you're just not going to get this again I don't think it's really really nice um, you know it's the spinnaker it's not really about spinnaker it's Portsmouth uh, shooting it from Hayling Island but the spinnaker is obviously what I am focusing on because it is the most prominent thing in this picture yeah, it looks really, really good. The sky looks great. The sunset looks great. Dare I say Portsmouth looks great. Somebody whip me. Okay, let me share these with you. And I've got my gloves on because it's freezing. Okay, so I think we're nearly done. What I'm waiting for now is for the Spinnaker Towers lights to be turned on. Normally, the lights are... Look at that, they're just turned on now, they've gone green. Um, normally they're turned on um, to, to, I don't know, it, it's just one of those tourist attractions. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna take a photograph of that. I don't know, yeah, it's in there. Yeah, it's green at the minute, so, and it, and it changes colors throughout, so yeah. Good, good. Funny how they turn it on as I'm talking about it. Okay, brilliant, talk to you in a minute. Okay guys, so that's it for tonight. Um, it's done, it's done. Um, I've got a lot of photographs. They're all pretty much the same. So I will share the best ones with you. Um, I'd like to thank you all for being with me again. Please give me the thumbs up. Please leave any comments that you have. All these things help and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm hoping to go to some great places in the coming weeks, so yeah. Thank you very much for being with me. I hope you've enjoyed this. I have. Speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.